when our campus is back to into the swing of things and our students and faculty and staff are all here, you'll likely notice differences. There'll be people wearing masks, we'll be socially distanced, but the experience that students have in terms of their education is what we are looking to maintain. At the integrity of that education and the core of the mission of this institution is really what's been our focus in addition to the important health and safety precautions and we're really excited to have everybody back. In planning for our return for the fall semester and looking at our, cor our courses and our academic affairs plan, we decided that it was important to remain as much as possible in a seated classroom environment. That's how we define and indicate a classroom experience and that's what our students are looking for. So in looking at the size of our classrooms and the enrollments in all of our classes, we had to then look at the size and the space of the classrooms available and to ensure that we have the appropriate social distancing and the safety and health and effective workplace for our students. That then led us to determine that at least 70% of our classes can be taught 100% in a seated capacity. And then an additional percentage of our classes can be taught in a hybrid format. And that means that sometimes the students will be seated and sometimes they'll be accessing the class remotely. For our seated classrooms, because of the safety precautions that we have in place, the students who walk in will see places where they have to specifically sit in order to maintain the social distancing. All of our students and faculty will have to wear masks throughout in that in indoor environment. Our classrooms are equipped now with microphones and then cameras that allow for different views of the classroom. Those changes in the, in the views are possible given some of the new technology or new equipment that we purchased knowing that, that that will be necessary in order to accommodate some of the pedagogical techniques that our faculty are thinking about for the fall. There's a small percentage of online courses and those are courses that have always been online in that format and we're continuing in that way for those few classes. All of our courses though, because of the technology now available, will be accessible to students who need to access their, their classes remotely because of an illness. Because of the testing that we're putting in place, it'll allow us to know who can be on our campus and who can be around others. If a positive test comes back, given the technology that we have in our classrooms, a faculty member can teach remotely and the students can still be there, or they can teach remotely and the students can be remote. If a student tests positive and we have the requirements in place of where that student needs to isolate or quarantine, depending upon the circumstances, that's when remote access to our classes is available because we don't want to interrupt the educational experience. We want to give them that option, but we still want to focus on what the seated classroom is all about at Endicott. So our internship is an essential component of who we are as Endicott College. Of course, that means going outside the campus. So our director of our internship program, Dale McLennan, has been working very hard to look at what types of opportunities we have that can both maintain the integrity of the program, but also provide the needed flexibility. So what that means is that we'll still have students who will be going off campus for their internships off-site, but we're also looking at remote opportunities as well. So can students have the same type of experience um, working with the supervisor and still be able to have the same kind of experiential learning that's the integral part of, of the internship by doing so remotely. And we're also looking at some on-campus opportunities. So can we provide some experiential learning internship right on our campus that will still allow them to have that core component of their education but not need to leave campus. So it's really about the flexibility but maintaining the integrity of the program. Yeah, our hands-on experiences in, in a number of our classes and a number of our disciplines is a really important part of the educational experience of our students. So some of our deans, Deans Wong and Towner, who are in the STEM and in our um, visual and performing arts, are working to develop what those classrooms need to look like and need to be how they need to be set up in order to continue to provide those experiences. Those are st we're still developing those, but um, in talking to them, they feel confident and working with faculty and what the needs are for each particular course that will be able to still maintain the safety guidelines and still be able to provide those experiential learning opportunities inside our classrooms.
Office hours are really important for our students. It provides some support and a resource that we know really helps to have greater student success on our campus and other campuses as well. But because some of our office spaces are so small and because that one-on-one -on -one interaction can be effective via Zoom with just two people, we're moving all of our office hours to a Zoom environment, a virtual environment. Still having that one-on-one -on -one relationship but, and, the, and the support that they need, but just not in person. Our library spaces will still be available for individual and group work, still ma maintaining the social distancing requirements. Um, and our library staff will work hard to make sure that the re resources are there. For instance, um, in talking to the director of the library, we'll have our library staff going in to the stacks of books and getting and accessing those books for folks. So we, it's, it's going to be similar in the respect that you'll have the access. It'll be a great place to still study. It's just about maintaining some of those safety guidelines still. And, and some of the spaces might look a little bit different, a little bit less crowded. We're taking out furniture that no longer will be accessible to people because it was more too much of a crowded space. It will be the responsibility of students and faculty and staff, everyone who steps foot on campus, to really take a close look at how we're behaving on the campus. And that will be different from in the past. I know everybody wants to return. All of our students are really eager to return. But it won't be the same experience because we have to wear masks. Uh, we have to be socially distanced. We, and we have to make sure that we are accountable for our own behaviors and for the behaviors of those around us. So it's going to be a little bit different of an experience, but we look forward to having all of our students back on campus as we put all the necessary health and safety precautions in place so that they can experience a healthy and effective learning environment.